I admire you for being able to make love cool amongst young men. We need to see more of this. So again, we salute you today. At this time, I want to ask that you will put the ring on her ring finger. And then I want you to look at her and there are some things that I'm going to say in the vows. And if you agree after each one, I want you to say, I do. And I'm glad you got the right size. The, won't be slipping off. Yes, sir. Amen. To William Jarrell Scott Bowman. Dealing with the letter P. Do you promise to pray with and over your mate until death pulls you all apart? I do. Do you promise to praise your mate and be her number one fan until death pulls you apart? I do. Do you promise to peacefully work through issues and not pack your bags every time an issue arises? I do. Do you promise to put some money up for a couple of bay trips every year? I do. <laughs> Remember, this is an oath. Do you promise to keep people out of y'all personal business until death pulls you apart? I do. And do you promise to put on nice pajamas even after the honeymoon until death pulls y'all apart? I do. Amen. At this time, Crystal, do you have a ring for the groom? I do. At this time, we would like for you to have that in your possession. Please take his left hand and put it, place it on his ring finger. And there are some vows for you that I would like for you, if you agree, after each one to repeat, saying, I do. And then we're going to move forward. Crystal LaShawn Henson, do you promise to pray with and over your mate until death pulls you apart? I do. Do you promise to praise your mate and be his number one fan until death pulls you apart? I do. And do you promise to peacefully work through any issues and not pack your bags when things get rough until death pulls you apart. I do. And do you promise to help your husband to put up some money for a couple of bay trips every year until death pulls you apart? And do you promise to keep people out of your personal business until death pulls you apart? I do. And finally, do you promise, because this is a major issue, I counsel all the time. After the honeymoon, do you still promise to maintain your swag and have some nice pajamas every night until death pull you apart? I do. Amen. Amen. Y'all laughing, but now a lot of folks leaving home because the, the swag and the excitement is gone. But this couple going to do it right. Somebody say amen. Amen. But they've made a vow and a commitment before God and us. Even when the cameras are off, bruh, pray with your mate. I don't care if you're working, out of town, call over the phone. Don't let a night go by. I'm serious. Man, pray with your mate. 
And it ain't always got to be nothing bad. You can just say, dear Lord, I thank you for us. And if our hearts and minds are clear with hands stretched forward, let us pray. Dear God, we come to you this evening, thanking you for life, health, and strength, thanking you for another chance, thanking you for your grace, your love, and your mercy. Father God, we come celebrating this couple, speaking unity over their life, and letting every devil in hell know that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. They will be a legitimate couple. They will be a happy couple. They will be a fulfilled couple. They will not be a broke couple. They will not be in poverty. They will not be in bankruptcy. They will not be homeless. They will not be divided. They will not be sleeping in separate rooms. They will not be beefing. They will not be tripping. They will not be distracted. And we speak these things over this couple right now in the name of Jesus. And they will be a God fearing couple. They will be a believing couple. And even after the honeymoon, they will still excite one another. They will still ignite one another. They will still promote and praise. Their joy will never run out. There won't be any bad days. They may have some awkward moments, but they will not have bad days because they're gonna be adults. They're gonna be mature. And when there is a misunderstanding, they're gonna talk about it. There will not be any domestic violence calls. There will only be anniversaries. There will only be parties. They will be the example for all of us. They will remind us every time we look at them that they are happy not only on Facebook, but are happy in real life. This will be a couple of love. No division, no confusion. They are officially, as of right now, off the market. Let me say that again. They are officially, as of now, off the market. So devil get back. You can't have neither one of them. They are beautiful in each other's eyes. And even when the eyes start to grow dim, they will still be beautiful in each other's eyes. They will have snack time and sofa time and trip time and even when they wheelchairs won't allow them to push nowhere. They will enjoy each other even in their home. So we speak life, peace, and unity over this family, thanking you, God, for what you have joined together. And because we are believers, we touch and agree with this couple, saying that love coming in and love going out. And if all hearts and minds are clear, every believer said amen. 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 Now, now, now I introduce to you officially Mr. and Mrs. Bowman. And you all may have your way.